Okay, my friends, let me take you a peek in my new office here. Gotta love it. I mean, I, I saw them building this big, huge, gorgeous building here in Belgrade Waterfront, and I never dreamed I would actually be working here uh, for a dispatch company, for an American company. <laughs> but just look at this view. God, it's gorgeous. So much going on here. In this building that, we, that we're in, this is Belgrade uh, BW Residences. In this building, a couple partisan basketball players live here. Johnny, the singer, lives here. So you can bump into them. And this is just our office. So my little suite right here. <laughs> this is why I'm busy. Uh, I work full-time in Novi Sad in the mornings, full-times here in the evenings. Anyway gotta earn my keep, my friends. Well, cha cha, my friends, how you doing? Charles here. Man, it's been a long time. I have made one video since I returned here to Serbia to my beautiful little pad here in Novi Sad. Uh, I returned here, what was it? September 27th? And it's already into November, you know? My love of exposing my life on uh, YouTube has drastically dropped uh, for numerous reasons, but one of the main reasons, I'm busy, man, you know? Not only am I working, I'm working two full-time jobs here in Serbia. I go from the USA where I work one, two, three, three, three jobs, six days a week, seven days a week, some of them, to here in Serbia where now I'm working five days a week, two jobs, one job, work and travel group right in the heart of Novi Sad, which is like, for me to get to my office is what, 10 minutes walk from where I live. I live really close to the bus station and the train station, Zelenitska Stanitsa, uh, where I take the Vaz every day to my second job. My second job is downtown Belgrade in Belgrade Waterfront Residences. You know that beautiful building? The first one they built. You've got this one that looks like stair steps going down and stair steps going up. That's my office. Not only do I work in there, I work in the penthouse suite on the 19th floor uh, with one of the prettiest views of the Kula, the Sava, uh, and downtown Belgrade. We've got about five balconies, uh, about what, 16 employees there, and I'm head of sales for this company. It's actually an American company also. They have headquarters in Chicago, Illinois, Moigrad, uh, and they have this office in Belgrade. The prettiest view, so what's really cool for me, how honored I am. I have one of the prettiest views of Novi Sad from my office in Trg Slobode. You know, we're in that orange building. You can see the Skupština, you can see Cveto Zarmilitic, Spomenik, you can see the whole Trg Slobode. Uh, I can see what's going on. Uh, and in this one, I can see everything. It is so gorgeous. 19th floor, Johnny, uh, the Serbian singer, he lives in, our, our, uh, lives in our building. Some partisan players, a lot of people with a lot of moolah live in that building. Uh, so I'm totally honored. So now I'm program manager for a work and travel agency that sends Serbian students to the USA, and I'm head of sales for an American company uh, that contacts, my, my main responsibility is contacting truck drivers all throughout the USA and getting them to sign on with our wonderful Serbian dispatchers who speak wonderful English, really, really um, experienced. Uh, almost all of them have three to five years experience. Funny thing, when I first started my job, there goes my other WhatsApp. Um, when I started my other job, or when I started this job in Belgrade, which I'm gonna show you here in just a sec and shut up. Uh, whenever I started there, first day, walk inside, who do I see but a kid named Veljko from Kraljevo, one of my former students from summer work and travel program that I sent to Massachusetts. So it's like a little uh, uh, welcome. Oh my God, my phone's going nuts. Somebody's trying to reach me. Uh, anyway, the cool thing also about this job I started the day after my birthday. I was in uh, Hrvatska for my birthday, seeing some friends over in Osijek, 
in Slavonski Brod and Jakovo, so my Croat roommates and friends for my birthday, came back, started this job on the 8th of November. The day I walk in, they had, they had a party for me. All 16-ish people, they called me into the kitchen and they were singing, Bože pravde ti što spase. So they had that. It was so embarrassing for me because I was new. Two cakes. They got me like this bottle of rakia. It's 50% really dark, really old, beautiful. What is the name of it? Branco, Rakia. They got me from one of my favorite shops, 011. They got me this shirt. It says, um, uh, Pravi Chetnik, uh, Ravnagora, something like that. And then look at this. This is one of the other gifts they gave me. Look at this jacket. How awesome. This is the shop. It's got the Serbian flag here. How awesome is that winter jacket? My first day, they give me this stuff. I have my own little office there, so really, really awesome. I'll show you. I'll show it to you right now. Uh, you can see where I'm at, what I'm doing, a little view from the office, and that's why you don't see much of Charles Cather. I'm working, working, working. I've got goals, my friends, of making good money, both countries, and retiring really, really early. I've got this Airbnb uh, thing I'm working on in the USA, Serbia related. You're not gonna believe it when it comes to reality. But I don't wanna talk too much about something until it's done. Anyway, my friends, I'll see more of you later. Ciao, ciao, vidimo se. Okay, and check this out. This is the most ridiculous thing of the whole thing. Getting to Belgrade every day, thank God for this fast train, the Vaz. I can get there in 36 minutes. Coming home, I have to take the 10.30 so I don't give, it's an hour bus, uh, train. But anyway, I can, if, if you pay, if you get this card here, you pay awesome Stodinera, then you can get a monthly pass, which is gonna save you a ton of money. Otherwise, it's like $3.73. It's 400 dinars there, 400 dinars home, okay? With this, you can buy a monthly pass. I bought a pull up, uh, a half month pass, which is 6,000 dinars, so it saves you a lot of money. But look at this, I thought that's so funny. This is typical Balkan. The guy in the window, when I went up there to buy this, he's smoking a cigarette. He's probably 65, typing with one finger. He's looking at my Lichnikarta, and I heard him say, what kind of name is this? Because my middle name is actually Andrew with a W, and I guess he had his keyboard on Cyrillic, and there's no W, so he, I heard him say to the other people, what kind of name is this? <laughs> and look, Andrev and Kater. And look, the girl who photobombed me. How funny is that? <laughs> uh, but anyway, with this card right here, I could get on the Serbian Vaz, get to Belgrade in 36 minutes, uh, and get my discount. 6,000 dinars for half a month. For the whole month, it's Dvanais Hilide Dinara, which is $120 for unlimited usage on the train, which is a great bargain uh, if you look at it. Uh, anyway, Okay, look at the view from this balcony here. Isn't this beautiful? This is where you can see all oh, this side of Belgrade, Novi Beograd, all the way over to Kalamagdan. We've got a garden area down there for us. It's beautiful. Really nice. Okay, check out this balcony. Look at this from our office here. This is the biggest balcony that we have. This you can see which, uh, this is called, I think Belgrade Waterfront Residence. It's the one that has like the stair steps and then the stair steps here. So this is a view from one of our balconies. We have like a private little garden area, gym, all these things in here. Cafes all through here, shops, beautiful promenade. And you can see like Calam uh, Calamagdan, you can see, uh, you know, all of the old town, if you will. Knez Mahailov is up there. Then you've got Zimun over there, Novi Beograd. But yeah, man, beautiful location. You cannot get a better spot for an office than this. Oh, look how awesome this is. It's on the Belgrade Kula.
This is for Victory Day or Armistice Day as we call it in the United States. Look at they do that on there. like about my job I have to take the hour train home it leaves here at 1033 it gets to Novi Sad at uh, like 1135 1140 something like that but it's so cheap you know three dollars and 73 cents is what it costs the train here, I get on the 1 p.m. train, it takes 36 minutes from downtown Novi Sad or the Zelenich Kastanitsa to here. There's 36 minutes. That's so freaking fast. 36 minutes, and it's the same price. $3.70 American when you look at everything. Not too bad, huh? So I can go back and forth for like $7. And it's up. Next station. Well, I made it home. It's like 11.30 it pulls into Novi Sad. So, not a bad trip. You got Wi-Fi, comfortable seat, listen to music. And it brings you right back here. Anyway, my friends, I'm hungry and I need to get to bed. 